In this video, I'll introduce derivatives. A derivative is just the rate at which some parameter is changing, so it corresponds to the slopes I talked about in the previous video. One important aspect of derivatives is that they describe the rate at which energy in a system can change. The slope of a curve is the rate at which the function is changing with respect to some independent variable x. However, this rate changes depending on where on the curve you measure it. The rate of change is always tangent to the curve. So if I pick a point x1 here, the rate of change looks like this. If I change that and look at the rate of change at a different point x2, it looks like this. But no matter where on the curve I check the slope, it's always tangent to the curve at that point. The slope of a line is also called the derivative of the function describing the line. It's typically a function of the independent variable and is tangent to the function at the point where it's evaluated. Now let's talk about how to actually calculate the slope or derivative of a function. The function we're using is graphically represented by this line. We want to find the slope of this curve at some arbitrary point x on the horizontal axis. I'm going to pick another point, a distance delta x away from that point, and connect the two points with a straight line. The slope of this line is obviously a bad approximation to the tangent of the curve. So let's pick a smaller value for delta x. This is better, but let's reduce delta x again. Now, to get the actual slope, we need to keep making delta x smaller and smaller until it's almost zero. When delta x is zero, we get the actual slope or tangent to the curve at x. So we need to pick two points on the curve that are infinitesimally close together, connect those with a straight line, and that'll give us the slope of the curve at this value of x. Now let's add some mathematical details to our argument. We want the slope of the curve at a particular value of x. So, as a first guess, choose another point on the curve separated from x by some distance delta x. The value of the function at x is just f of x, and the value of the function at x plus delta x is f of x plus delta x. So the horizontal distance is delta x, and the vertical distance is f of x plus delta x minus f of x. The slope of the straight line connecting these points is the ratio of the vertical distance, f of x plus delta x minus f of x, to the horizontal distance delta x. With a large delta x, as shown here, the estimated slope probably won't be very close to the tangent to the line at x. We just need to find the distance delta x that will give us an estimate that's sufficiently close to the actual slope. So let's pick a smaller value for delta x and calculate the slope again using that value. If the smaller delta x gives a significantly different slope than the larger one, keep reducing delta x. Once the slope doesn't change when you reduce delta x, you can figure your estimate is pretty close to the actual value. Mathematically, derivatives are defined by letting delta x become zero. In numerical analysis, we can't do this step, since we'd be dividing by zero, which isn't an allowable process. The symbolic math in this case works out, since the numerator also goes to zero, and there are ways to deal with that result. The proper notation for a derivative is small d by dx of the function. The notation of using lowercase d's here rather than deltas implies that the limiting process of letting delta x go to zero has been done. So far, we've seen why the slope or derivative of a function is important and how a derivative is defined. Our remaining problem is to calculate a derivative numerically. Our definition of a derivative requires us to divide by zero or to calculate zero divided by zero, which we can't do numerically. The next video will present ways to numerically estimate the derivative of a function or a set of data.